Also, Clara Ivan Rivero writes, No tengo palabras para expresar esto que muestra este documento que maravilla. Thank you so much, Clara. Thank you very much. And more films will follow. That's a promise. We're now working on our next production and planning one after that as well for 2022. And also the good news is Spanish subtitles will follow too. So please stay tuned, Clara and everybody else. Thank you so much. I'm Lawrence Brom, producer and director at Shambhala Studio. And I want to thank all of you for following us and watching our films, Searching for the Lotus Born Master, and our most recent film, Return to the Lotus Born Master. Um, many of you had comments, and I've tried our, my very best to respond to as many comments as we've had come in from everybody. Uh, sometimes I can't keep up with all of you, but uh, I try my best between film shoots and uh, some of our projects. And what I'd like to do is just respond to a few of them here on YouTube because our YouTube channel because I feel that uh, these are some really interesting comments and want to share them with all of you. Got a very interesting message here from Deja L. Uh, it's cynical. Uh, he writes, Deja writes, don't you think it is just an analogy? Think, think, think. Deja don't think, feel. Another uh, message here from uh, Zanda Hart, uh, quite critical of our work. Zanda writes, pseudo-Buddhism, pseudo-science, and pseudo-history. But Zanda, reality does not exist. Angelina Berry writes to us, uh, the Bible says stay away from black magic and white magic. It's all one in the same. You Buddha are so lost from the great I am, not us humans, but the light powerhouse of God. Well, Angelina, as for black magic and white magic, I wanted to say that life is magic. I think God would agree. We have another criticism here from Dimitri CH who writes, this aggressive style of montage like rap music video clip is making very tired and impossible to watch more than 15 minutes. Well, Dimitri, the kids like it and we need their generation to lead us into the future. A message here from Shinzang who reminds us you don't need a plane ticket to travel the mantra. And yes, Shinzang, have you ever heard of Shambhala Airlines? Direct flights to Shambhala, just say the mantra. That's right, and you'll be there. Message here from some of the very interesting name. Uh, it says it's Dolop. Turdman is the Antichrist, and Dolp writes, trans-inducing style of documentary. I normally don't put up with this type, but I like the subject matter. I skipped a lot. Well, trans-inducing documentary, I have to say, Dolp, our journey was trans. Join us for the next journey coming soon. Got a little bit of a cynical note here from someone named Mash Maid who writes, slap quantum in front of any mumbo jumbo drunkenness of words and you will get the best publicity for your irrational whatever. And then adds, this was quite funny. Well, Mash, um, higher yoga practices, there's one practice which is to just laugh does amazing things and it will put you on a positive track. So if it made you laugh, I'm really happy about that. I'm sure it will benefit you and everyone around you. 
Ralph Ayel writes, I wonder what Tesla meant with the non-physical phenomena, which is the opening quote for our first documentary of the series, Searching for the Lotus Born Master. And he writes, what is non-physical phenomena and how can they be studied? It must be measurable objectively in order for it to be studied by science. Are radio waves physical? Objects of the mind can only be studied via studying the brain in order to turn them into analytical data sets. Well, I don't know if Tesla would agree with that. That's a very linear Newtonian view and Newtonian science kind of got narrower and narrower with this empiricalism until kind of maybe boxed itself in in some ways. And Tesla helped to bring us to look at things differently. And it's because of Tesla looking at things differently that he was able to light up the world. We have a message here from uh, Naya Kariel who says, we have so much work to do. Find peace and love and compassion in ourselves first. And we will love the process of life and self-discovery and the world. Thank you for this film. It looks like it was a lot of hard work, but I'm jealous that you all on this film were so graciously accepted and taken care of, and that you met all such beautiful and wise people. You saw such amazing grace and wonders of the imagination. Thank you for sharing this film and the other two as well, they're treasures. Well, we wanna thank you so much, Naya, because um, yes, throughout our journey, we received nothing but the most gracious support from the people we met, whether they were lamas or monks or yogis or science technology experts, historians, wherever we went, it seemed that there was this enormous power of compassion guiding our journey and receiving us each step of the way. So it looks like a lot of work. It was really, these expeditions are really a lot of joy and awakening for everybody on our Shambhala Studio team together. And we wanna thank you for joining this journey with us and this process of awakening. And please stay tuned because there are two sequels uh, that are following. The next sequel will be the Dakini Code, Lotus Board Master and the Event Horizon. We'll be looking at not only quantum physics, but astrophysics and how his teachings can explain both. And following that, there'll be another film in production. We're now planning that. So please stay tuned and the journey continues. Okay, I have a, another message here. It looks like it's from Maretta Kusumanigrom. And Maretta writes, congratulations. I can't wait for the next EPS. Being locked down for almost two years, we can't travel anywhere. I feel like I'm joining your spiritual journey virtually. Thank you. I wanna thank you, Moretta. Uh, together, we can virtually traverse time and space. So stay tuned. And our next journey is uh, in production right now. And we'll be coming to you very, very soon. The Dakini Code, Lotus Born Master, and the Event Horizon. So, Maretta, please stay tuned. I got a note here from Shambhala Tenzin. I don't need my glasses to read it because it's got um, three hearts on one side, two Namaskar and Namaste hands, and in the center is the globe and another three hearts. So, there's a lot of hearts, a lot of uh, Namaste, and the planet in the center of all of that. And all I can do to Shambhala Tenzin, who sent us that beautiful message is say, from Shambhala to Shambhala, blessings to everyone out there. And uh, just remember, the guru is always with us. So thank you and namaskar, namaste, and jashitale. Carl Rivas writes from the other side of the world, thanks a lot from the Andes mountain. I rejoice for this precious documentary. And I just wanna say, Carl, 
blessings from the Himalayas from one sacred mountain range and space to another. English Talk sent us a quite interesting message. English Talk writes, I am that, that I am, and more. Guru, Kamala, Kanta, or Padmasambhava. And are you ready then? You must meditate. And then English Talk sends, I don't know how many roses, many, many, many rose uh, emojis and peace sign emojis and more roses. And all I can say is, um, English talk, yes. Meditation is the pillar of nirvana. So let's all meditate. Anita V. Kapadia writes, Google based their applications on this sacred knowledge. Well, Anita, I'm not surprised because one of the biggest audiences for the films that we're doing is right there in Silicon Valley. Uh, when we showed Searching for the Lotus Born Master on its premiere in California. We showed it in Silicon Valley. There were about 100 seats available at the venue. 250 people showed up for that first showing. So we had people standing in the hallways outside. We set television screens as many places as we could. That just shows how much Silicon Valley is in tune with the messages coming from the Himalayas, from the Lotus Born Master's teachings, and how those teachings actually can explain quantum physics and help us in our own evolution of technology today. Peace be with to you, wrote us a very interesting message I will share with you. Peace be to you, asked, in our next film, can you show us the consort yoga, please? Thanks. Well, peace be to you. It's called a secret practice for a reason. Freedom 77 writes, he is coming back just like Jesus. Well, Freedom 77, gurus always come back. Almarosa CT writes, wow, I don't have words. I have feelings only. Almarosa, I love that. Feelings are a lot better than words. Blessings to you.